Hi everyone! Today I wanted to follow the cell detection tutorial, but then I went in and apparently the cell detection and the cell classification tutorials are very similar. So this video is going to be a mix of both. So we're going to start with the cell detection one and then go right through to the cell classification one. So I'm going to pop this to my other monitor. In here I've already opened QPath, I have my project with all the different stain images. And we're going to be using the DAB image, I will leave a link in the description so that you can download it easily. And so the first thing we need to do apparently is to create an annotation so that we can run the cell detection in a small region because apparently it's easier to validate all the parameters and stuff in a small region and then run it in bigger regions. So, okay, small annotation. Mm, here, let's do this. Okay. And then access to avoid drawing a big region. I don't think this is a big region. Is it too big? Maybe it's too big. Let's make it smaller. Okay. And now analyze cell detection. Right. So you can do cell detection or positive cell detection. Let's start with cell detection. Can I open two windows at the same time? Yes. And what's the difference then? Ah, uh, okay, so the difference is that for the positive cell detection, you get an extra step of the threshold parameters to differentiate between normal nuclei and stain nuclei, apparently. Okay, we're going to just do cell detection. We can choose the image we're going to be using. So it's either the hematoxylene or the optical density sum, which shows the nuclei much better. Let's use this one, and then let's just run it as it is, and then we'll change a little bit the parameters. And it is detecting most of the cells, missing a few ones here, the ones where thinning is very desaturated, but it is detecting most of them. Okay, what did these parameters do? Hi! This is a voiceover by future Laura. Basically, I didn't exactly know what I was doing here. I just played with all the different variables. But when you do this, if you hover over each of them, you get a small explanation, which is too small for my eyes to read right now. But probably the best way to learn how to do this is to play around and read yourself each of the definitions. I would like to get these cells here. How could I do that? If I increase this? No. And if I decrease it? Still no. Pete, I'm lacking a um, go back to default settings button here, just saying. Ah, better. I am getting these cells now. And I'm getting weird things here. Okay, I guess this is a game of what's the best balance. Okay, I want to go to... What if I delete it? Okay, so I made a mistake while deleting the annotation and now I don't know how to delete the objects. They still exist. So how do I delete them? Do I have to delete each of the objects? No. There are no annotations. How do I select all of them? There has to be a way I'm going to look it up. Um, objects, delete, delete all objects. Ah, good. Okay. Oof. Okay. Well, now I know how to do that. Okay, back to square one. We know how to do cell detection. Now we're going to do positive cell detection. So the idea is the same, pick a smallish area, create an annotation, 
analyze cell detection, positive cell detection, and do optical density sum. Let's uh, run it as it is for now. Okay, and apparently uh, with this you can, there's, there's a difference, you, f you kind of fill in the annotation. Can see this. Okay, this is better than the previous one. Mm. Uh, is that a cell or is it like a staining artifact? Well, you're always going to get some mistakes, aren't you? We'll say that that is good enough. Oh, you can choose where the staining is supposed to be. So this is a nuclear stain. This is KI67. So it's a nuclei stain. But you can choose if you have cytoplasm or cell stains. Well, I think this is good enough. It seems to be good enough. And I, okay, so within one annotation, now we have 365 objects because we have detected 365 cells, presumably. Um, and we have automatically the number of negative, positive, and positive percentage. Okay, we have measurements here. Cool. But I, I don't like it like this. How do I get a table or, or something? Measure. Measure what? I can it says the story says I can click on the individual cells. Um, okay. Ah. Oh. Okay, and I get I get all the data of that individual cell. Mm, useful, but um, not that useful for like visualization purposes. Okay, what else can I do? I can do, I can select my annotation object and do measure, show, detection measurements. Ah, uh, ooh, and I get a picture for each of them. Cool. And can I order them? Yeah, cool. And how much information? Okay, so the area, frame material, circularity, Lots of information for each of them. Oh, with histograms as well. Oh, I love histograms. Great. How does animate changes? Great. Um, love it. Okay, now it's if you have m more areas of interest. Paint a few of them. Um, one here, and I'm just going to use all the annotation tools. That's it. Stop. Double click. Okay, we got that. Um, and if I want to run this on all of them, not on the one I already have, can I select? Okay, if you press Control, you can select them and then run. Okay, works. Great. And then how does this look? How do the measurements look? Hmm. Where how does it if I select them all? Push. Okay, you have oh. Aren't they separated or something? How do I separate them? Ah okay. It's a different command. Okay, so instead of show detection measurements, you need to show annotation measurements. And then, presumably, if you double click, nope. If you do what, how do I now go inside that? You can't. Okay, so this is a summary. Okay, so this is a summary. Uh, why can't I go inside? Hmm. For checking out each of them, I need to click on an annotation and show detection measurements. And I get that. I would like to be able to click and go inside that. Okay, so apparently if you want to have separate annotations, I'm going to delete the others. If you want to have separate annotations for each cell, you can do convert detections to points. And how do I do that? Ah, here, okay. Convert detection to points. Got it. And those are a lot of detections. Yes. Oh, and they're separated into negative and positives. I can see them better like this. 
Okay, useful. Good. For just a positive, for just a negative. Yeah, well, they're all together, aren't they? This is not going to make much sense. And then, I don't want this. Ah, but if I convert them, I can't go back. That's what you're telling me. I have to run this again. Okay. And now what happens if I create an annotation on top of this one? Like this. Does this change? Yeah. No, it doesn't. Ah, yes, it does change. It's just not live. You have to drop it for this to refresh. Okay, useful as well. Um, and what if I unlock this one and I increase the size? Nothing. Do I have to run it again? Yeah. Okay, and it's divided it into tiles and it does. Okay. Okay, I need to play with this a bit more to truly be comfortable with it, but I think I understand it. Hopefully you have understood it too and have learned something with me. Um, so yeah, hope you liked it and hope to see you in the next one. Bye.